Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your toggles and your radio controls much better optimized in, uh, on your avatar using this new method discovered by VR Labs and described by them. You can find the method uh, documentation on the website here. I'm going to put it in the description. I'm basically going to do pretty much what the documentation says, but I'm going to explain to you step by step uh, in a video the process of it. So uh, we start in Unity with our, our little avatar here and it's empty. I'm just going to be filling everything from the beginning to the end. This video is aimed at the beginners and advanced people alike because it's going to be showing basically how to make everything you need for a toggle, but also it's going to describe, you know, this quite advanced method, which uh, people who know how to do normal toggles can use as well. So the first thing we do, we're going to make an FX layer menu and parameters. So I'm just going to do that real quick for the FX layer. We go animator controller FX layer. I'm going to create a VR chat menu. And also I'm going to create VR chat avatar parameters. And you can also use your, you know, standard files and just add stuff in them. You don't have to necessarily like make clean files at all. So I'm going to drag and drop all my things here. And in this video, I'm going to be show you how to make uh, three types of toggles. I don't need these parameters. So I'm going to delete them. And the toggles are going to be a classic on and off. I'm going to be turning on and off this little cube here, uh, a classic hue shift, and also a material swap between three different materials to demonstrate that you can use this method for even that use as well. So for uh, on and off toggle, we're going to call it cube toggle. It's going to be a Boolean. And then we do two floats. One of them is going to be U shift hair and the other one is going to be pants material. I'm going to make a little uh, snip using my little snip tool so I don't have to remember, remember these. Uh, we add these functions in our little menu. We're going to make a toggle and two radial controls, radial, radial puppets, let's say. So this one is the uh, cube toggle. This one is going to be the hue shift for hair. And the last one is the pants material. I'm gonna, yes, there we go. I set up the floats. And now we're gonna make the animations for these uh, toggles. So I'm going to make a nice little copy of my avatar. And advanced people can skip right, right through this because they know this by memory. It's the same process as for uh, the usual method. So let me create a cube off animation. I'm going to push the record button. I'm going to find my cube by clicking it or you can do it by hand in the hierarchy. I'm going to disable while recording like this. Left click, copy this, copy this uh, property. Then I'm going to make a cube on animation and I'm going to make it the other, the other way being on. I'm going to do the U shift for hair zero, which I need to find my hair and animate all the U shifts. So I'm going to do that right here, here and also here. I can left click, I can stop recording, then I left click and shift left click to the last one and control C to copy them. Make a hue shift hair one, paste, change them to one. And now I'm going to make three uh, pants material swap animations. So the number one, I need to find the pants, then I'm going to just drag and drop. There we go, there's the first one, pants two. That is going to be the second one and pants three. And I'm just going to drag in this one and the uh, one that I want now. There we go. I can also check here if uh, the swap is what I want. 
I'm gonna control S and stop animating. This is everything we needed to do to record the animations for the uh, photos. So now we do the juicy part. We go to the FX layer. And the first thing is that we're gonna add um, our parameters, but it's gonna be a bit different. Because if you're using a Boolean toggle, like for the cube on and off, you don't put uh, the parameter here as a Boolean and put it here as a float. That's very important. So I'm just gonna put in a float called cube toggle. And for, fro for, fl for floats, you do it as a float. That's, you know, standard, but for Booleans, don't forget to make them uh, float in the actual FX layer. So now I'm gonna put this aside and just uh, put these two floats in. Pants material. And I also need one more float that is only going to be needed in the FX layer itself. And it's going to be telling the layer to uh, basically put a weight of one onto the whole blend tree so the whole thing actually happens. It's just how, how it is. So we're just gonna put in a new float and we're gonna call it FX weight, for example. And this is ready. So we go to the layers and we put in a blend tree. You click the blend tree and you make sure write defaults are on. Currently this only works supposedly with them on, so please leave them on. Double click. And now we're in, we are into the blend tree, so we click it and we change the blend type to direct. That's very important. And now we add uh, three blend trees for our three toggles. And we change the parameter to FX weight on all of them. This is the parameter that it's gonna be basically saying that yes, please animate the whole thing. Now we actually do the actual toggles. So we click the first one and this one is going to be the cube toggle. So we add two motion fields. It's basically going to be animating between on and off. So I'm going to be putting these animation animations here and you're going to be seeing how it adds these like uh, branches. Go to the second one. This one is going to be the hue shift for hair. Add two motion fields, again, the same way we put in the hair. And the third one, we're gonna add three motion fields for the pants. We're gonna drag them in. Don't forget to change the parameter. We double check, but it should be fine. And the last thing you never should uh, forget to do, as I did actually, is to set the FX weight here to one. So it actually knows it should be happening. The whole thing should be happening. All right, and now, now you're fine. It should work. Everything should be set up for you. We can also test this using the VRChat avatar emulator. But the issue is currently with the emulator, um, as of 2020th of February, 2023, there's a bug. So the Boolean toggles are not gonna work, but the float radials are, works fine. But the thing is, in game, it works flawlessly. It works well. It's just the emulator that doesn't do the Boolean toggle. So I'm not going to be able to show you uh, the cube toggle in Unity, but I'm going to show it to you later in game. But I'm going to show you in Unity how the hair shift and the, uh, you know, the pants material swap is going to work. So I'm going to push the play button. I'm also going to link the emulator in the video description. So I go tools and enable emulator. I go back to my scene and I'm gonna control it. And you can see this works very well. And let's, let's check the pants. The pants are changing. Yes, so this works very well. So now you have for yourself a much more, much more optimized FX layer for toggles, hue shifts, uh, material swaps and different things. Currently nobody has a good method how to do it for dissolves, for example. So for that, I guess you're gonna have to stick with the, uh, the previous normal method, but um, you know, probably somebody will figure it out later. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna show you how uh, this works in game. So we're in, we are in game and take a look at the little cube being toggled. There's no delay, it works very well. I'm gonna go here, shift my hair a little bit. Very smooth, very nice. I have all these nice colors. And for pants, 
it changes the material as I wanted it to be. It's completely perfect and nice. Thank you for watching. If this video has helped you, uh, check out my Gumroad, my booth, or watch another video. And I'll see you guys later.